What's up, guys? So, when I learned C, I learned it in college, and it was on the Code Blocks IDE. And I have a friend, they are taking a class in C, but they're using a Mac computer. So, I wanted to show you guys how to program C and C on a Mac computer because I just can't seem to get that uh, code blocks ID to work on a Mac. Might be the new M1 chip or whatever. The M chips may be a problem, but I can show you how to get it to work on a Mac. So as far as using a Mac computer, I installed Sea Lion by JetBrains. You can get it for free on their website. And I just use mostly default installs. Make sure it has the GCC compiler. And th that should be it. You should be ready to go. So what I did was I went here to project new, new project. And then I just did all the default settings. So I have a fresh file here and it comes with a hello world printed for you out the box. And you can even run it over here. And as you can see right here, it says hello world. So they're using the WX widgets. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up. It works with a lot of different programs, ranging from Python to a whole bunch of other programs, but they're using it with C++. So I'm going to show you how to make that work. So we're going to go over to make list. And as we can see, they have a default setting here. They have the minimum required version, project file open, and they have a standard this is this is all the default settings so we're going to add some lines to it to make it used to wx widgets so we're going to go to set and then cmake underscore module You see where it says path. We're going to have that. We're going to have quotation marks here. And inside those quotation marks, we're going to have a dollar sign. And we're going to have curly brackets. And that is exactly what we need right there. The projects underscore source underscore DIR. Now we move on to the next. So we need a find underscore package function and it's going to have WX. Oops, there we go. WX widgets. And then we're going to have components and core. Now keep in mind, I I'm not entirely sure if these are case sensitive, but I'm copying this from a template file that I created earlier and I made sure it worked. So this should work for this one we're about to see. So we have an include function with quotation marks. Inside those, we have dollar sign, curly brackets, WX widgets, underscore, use, file. And we're going to have set, SRCS, main, CPP. That is this file right here, the main file that you see here. And next we're going to have if, now this is so it works on all systems right here. So we're going to say if when 32, 
set SRCS. I think that's an abbreviation for sources. I'm still learning this stuff myself, so it's not exactly going to, it may not exactly work the way that I want it to work, basically. Yeah, I'm just posting this video because I thought it'd be a good YouTube idea. And I'd be able to help my friend out as well, and they can share this with their classmates. So I have it if when 32 sources space dollar sign curly bracket sources wx widgets test.rc and if win32 so that's just saying if you're using a windows computer it's gonna work with that and let's see this should be fine and then we have target underscore link libraries so we have dollar sign curly brackets and we have project name and then we're going to have W X whoops widgets underscore libraries and we're gonna make another edit over here for the add executable we're gonna have dollar sign and we're gonna say project underscore name and we're gonna have win 32 and we're gonna have another dollar sign curly brackets SRCS now let's see this should work here and I'm going to pull up the WX widgets website here in a second. So I have the WX widgets website here. Show you. Now the regular way to get this going would be to go through the installer. Like if you're on a Windows computer, you may want to use the installer or use the zip and 7-zip files. If you're on a Mac or Linux, you know, you can download it that way. Whoops, I do not want to open it. But yeah, there's different releases for it. Yeah, so I went over here to the Hello World. Hello world and WX widgets. And I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom. And this is their hello world program. Now I'm going to be going back. And I copied everything. And I'm going to take this main CCP file and we're going to paste and run and there we are. Hello world. This is our WX widget and it says welcome to WX widgets.
And all I did was I hit this button to copy the code or you can highlight it all. And then you go back to your C Lion main CCP file. Paste it in there. I'm not entirely sure about the errors here, but when I pasted it and ran it, everything worked. Like I said, I'm still learning how to use this stuff myself. I know regular C++, but the WX widget thing is uncharted territory.